It seems like everybody's going crazy online today. Everybody is believing everything they see and hear. They're scrolling on Facebook. Oh yeah, that video must be true. They hear something on CNN. Oh yeah, yeah, it must be true. No matter what they hear, yeah, yeah, yeah. They nod their head, nod their head, like useful idiots, nod their head. Yes, it must be true. And everybody's stuck in their echo chambers saying, I'm absolutely right because God forbid somehow I'm wrong. I can't be wrong. Oh no, I can't handle it if I'm wrong. Cognitive biases going around 24 seven. It's almost like people can't think for themselves anymore. It's funny. It's hilarious when I see people getting all like angry and uh, aggressive towards people online. Keyboard warriors. It doesn't happen in real life. Not at all. There's no keyboard warriors in real life. And so human beings are creatures of habits and we have many, many deep rooted cognitive biases. And so it's, it's really important to understand these cognitive biases. It's really important to understand yourself and it's really important to audit yourself. And this is why I love the Socrates filter test. I think it should be mandatory reading. I think people should, I think, man, maybe I'll do it, but someone should create a curriculum about the Socrates filter test because it's so good. It's so useful. Everybody benefits from it. And it goes something like this. Now, you're scrolling on Facebook and you see a headline. Oh, oh. X, Y, and Z happens in South Carolina. Oh, it must be true. Now, before you go on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube like this and start ranting your opinions and saying, oh, we got to get this guy or girl or he did X, Y, and Z and blah, 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 blah. The first question you got to ask yourself is this. Is it true? You just read a headline. You read an article. How the fuck do you know it's true? Well, because I read it. No, you don't know it's true. You have no scientific proof. You, ha you haven't done any journalism. You haven't sourced multiple sources. You haven't read multiple sides. All you've read is a fucking headline and you believe to be true. And so the first filter in Socrates' filter is, is it true? The second filter is, is it good? Because what's, what's news about? News only sells negativity because negativity sells clicks. And the more clicks they get, they get the money. It's driven by profit. It's not driven by good deeds. It's not driven by helping people out. The news is driven by fear. The news is driven on the worst human emotions possible. It's not like you go online and like, I'm going to go to positivity news. No, people go to CNN. They go to negative 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 one of my recommendations for life is fucking take your tv chuck it out cancel your cable tv shut off get ad blockers for facebook get ad blockers for everything and control your environment and stay the fuck away from news and so the second thing you got to ask yourself for the socrates test is is it good does this information serve me first as good information and b does this information after you've done the first test making sure it's true does this information help other people? Is it a positive piece of information? So that's the second step in the Socrates filter test. The third step is, is it kind? We gotta stop spreading bad information. We gotta stop spreading negative things that serve no purpose whatsoever, like period. Like go to Facebook, people are arguing over the most random shit. It's like, you guys are arguing over the wrong fucking things as opposed to looking at commonalities and similar interests and ways that we can talk together, ways that we can uh, communicate together, ways that we can cooperate together. People are looking at the opposite, ways to divide. Joseph Campbell has a good saying. He's like, people need to learn how to live in this world. The problem is, instead of us coming together, we are creating more in-groups these days. We're creating more division. And there is a saying, divide and conquer, right? You know, high class, middle class, low class, same thing like in India with all the cassettes, right? Now in America, you're having once again the resurgence of, of race. When the funny thing is only one fucking race is a human species, right? It's humans. That's the only race. The only difference between skin color <laughs> is the fucking sun. For God's sake, it's a genetic mutation to handle the different deg the the different degrees of uh, of exposure to sun. It's ironic when people say, "Oh, it's a different race." No, it's a fucking human. You're the human sapien. For God's sakes. So, is it kind? That's a third. Number four, is it useful? 
you know, this information I just read, I've gone through, is it true? I've gone through, is it good? I've gone through, is it kind? Now, is it useful for me to share and promote this new information that I just gained or learned with my fellow friends and family? And if it's not useful, don't fucking share it. If it's negative, if it doesn't help people out, if it promotes more, let's say, arguments and trolling, etc., etc., don't share it. It serves no benefit whatsoever. And finally, number five, this is a big one, even for all social media. Is it necessary? Do you really need to tell your opinion on everything? Come on. Lately, what I've been doing is like, I literally tell people, I have no fucking opinion. I just don't know. I don't know. People ask me about certain things of politics. I don't fucking know. I don't follow it. The best thing to do if you really don't know, just say, I don't fucking know. I have no opinion. I'm not smart enough to tell you my opinion. And so that's it. The Socrates filter test. Is it true? Is it good? Is it kind? Is it useful? Is it necessary? These five simple checklists, have them glued somewhere. Print this out. Glue it. On your, uh, glued on your phone. How, you know what? I'm going to take this and make this as my 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 de- my phone uh, background and my phone screensaver and my desktop screen. I'm going to have this glued everywhere. Everybody should use this as your heuristic checklist to make sure that they're thinking from themselves, using rational thinking, using their brain, and not being sucked up into the thing known as the human condition, which is all these cognitive biases that we have which puts us on automatic pilot mode. Instead of thinking for ourselves, we react as opposed to responding. As I keep on mentioning Viktor Frankl, we must respond as opposed to react. I just hope you can use this checklist for your own benefit. It's helped me out. And if you guys have any comments and questions for me, leave a comment below this video. And don't forget to subscribe. There's a button below this video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out.